China Evergreen shares sink 25% after wealth unit staff detained by police. Australia's $10 trillion property market bigger than GDP, NASX, the Australian Stock Exchange, combined. Vatican alleges former West Australia bishop sexually abused Aboriginal boys and young men. Into the sixth month of Sudan conflict, the landmark skyscraper in Khartoum engulfed in flames. It had been speculated that Poland planned to surrender 40% of its territories in case of Russian invasion. Ukraine files WDO case against Poland, Hungary and Slovakia over their unilateral grain bans. Russia demands Ukrainian genocide case be dismissed by UN top court. Ukraine asks Germany to halt ammunition tool headed for Russia. Citigroup debuts City Token Services for cash in latest foray into digital assets, enabling clients to transfer liquidity between city branches on blockchain technology. The same mechanism previously piloted for the business arena in a pilot, where Citibank had developed City Token Services for trade with Maersk and a canal authority to digitize a solution that serves the same purpose as bank guarantees and letters of credit in the trade finance ecosystem. The technology used in the pilot provided a completely digital process to both buyers and sellers with instant payment capabilities. Editors Guild unanimously ratifies new Nickelodeon contract. In March 2023, Saturday Night Live editors unanimously ratified first ever contract. Mats Mikkelsen to receive Zurich Film Festival's GoldenEye Award. Prime Video delays release of Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Donald Glover and Maya Erskine to early 2024. Netflix lends Richard Linklater helmed Hitman, starring Glenn Powell, for $20 million Toronto deal. Adidas and Beyonce part ways, after $200 million sales projections miss. Katy Perry sells catalog rights to Litmus Music for $225 million. Blink-182 announced new album One More Time, out in October, 2023. Swiss government's new climate strategy wants Swiss to eat less meat. Poison Ivy is poised to be one of the big winners of a warming world. People who work from home all the time cut emissions by 54% against those in office. Japan labor market set for change as huge worker shortage looms. The term noctalgia had been offered to express sky grief for the accelerating loss of nighttime and daytime skies. In South Korea, all elementary schools in Seoul set to record calls from parents. In Germany, left party wants to abolish school grades and homework. Teachers Association is not at all enthusiastic. Dogecoin inventor and influencers dragged into Elon Musk's $258 billion lawsuit. Hong Kong arrests crypto influencer Joseph Lam in JPEX Association probe. Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs reportedly set NFL record with restructured for years $210.6 million guaranteed deal. UK Premier League team Everton's suitor 777 hails new era of football of hyper-commercialization. Los Angeles Dodgers' Will Smith reveals Hughes dealt with a broken rib for months. Chris Rock had to go to counseling with his daughters after Will Smith Oscars slap, says Leslie Jones. That s was humiliating. Former Belarus hit squad member Yuri Garevsky to stand trial in Switzerland over high-profile killings. In Australia, First Nations groups demand immediate stop to killing dingoes as control method. No kike crypto exchange to bring 150 ADMs in Asia. Kazakhstan launches National Payment Corp. CBDC implementation and agenda. Mexican President AMLO defends inclusion of Russian military contingent in independence parade. UEFA Zephyrin says, Russia excluded from international football until the end of the war with Ukraine, also declared before for international soccer, hockey one year ago. Russian news outlet, Layout discovered a tender from the Ministry of Labor of the Russian Federation for 230,000 certificates for family members of deceased combat veterans. Taiwan to merge public media under defense ministry to better combat cognitive warfare. Alma's new collection stolen as delivery truck hijacked in Paris, says label boss, weeks before Paris Fashion Week. India cabinet approves, reserving third of parliament lower house seats for women. Maduro says Venezuelan astronauts could go to moon and Chinese spaceship. In Canada, backlog of air passenger complaints tops 57,000, hitting new peak. Microsoft's AI research department was found to have leaked 38 terabytes of internal confidential data via Microsoft Azure. Black Cat's ALPHV reportedly encrypted MGM's more than 100 of VMware SXC hypervisor servers in ransomware attack. Chinese hackers have unleashed a never-before-seen Linux backdoor. New spry socks Linux malware, used in cyber espionage attacks, a cyber attack against Clorox in August, 2023, that shut down factories, 
has created a nationwide shortage of bleach and cat litter. It has been suggested with a study from China, the potential use of spicy arousal stimuli as an analgesic, in the assessment and treatment of pain, offers comfort to the patient. Comparative studies showed that, children faced a 78% higher risk of new onset conditions, after they had COVID-19. Use of tobacco and cannabis, and use of cannabis only, were associated with higher odds of anxiety and depression, compared to non-use and tobacco-only use. Tobacco-only use was associated with higher odds of anxiety and depression, compared to non-use. The findings suggest that coordinating tobacco and cannabis cessation with mental health treatment may be beneficial to address these comorbidities, specifically, providing mental health support and addressing polysubstance use, e.g., tobacco, cannabis, alcohol among individuals with co-use, are needed to facilitate successful cessation from tobacco and cannabis. Officials find debris from F-35 fighter jet that crashed in South Carolina after pilot ejected. U.S. military had asked public for help in locating missing F-35, which was still flying after pilot's emergency egress. New TV show Nub TV claims King Charles piloted a crash UFO spacecraft in Canada. 2024 Nissan Zenismo expected to start north of $66,000, powered with 420 HP, improved aerodynamics and chassis, but available only with automatic transmission. 2025 Porsche Boxster EV shows dual screen dash design in new spy photos. Canada's Trudeau says intelligence suspects agents of India involved in British Columbia Sikh leader Hardeep Singh Nidra's murder. India denies role in Canadian Kalistani Sikh terrorist leader's case. Absurd, motivated, Canada expels an Indian diplomat and hits pause on trade mission to India. After tensions at G20 summit, India expels Canadian diplomat and took for tat move. Australia deeply concerned, as India rejects Canada's allegations on Sikh activists' murder. Main man who disappeared after driving wife to work, found trapped in truck. In New Hampshire woods, former NFL player Sergio Brown missing after his mother's death was ruled a homicide. Hunter Biden sues IRS over tax disclosures. In Germany, 182 euros legal entitlement per month is pocket money. To support asylum applicants, should switch from cash payment to card, which was in practice by UNHCR for more than 10 years. In France, Paris, to the rental out of a 10 square meters for 601 euros per month, attracted 765 candidates in seven days. On the day four of UAW strike, striking auto workers want a 40% pay increase the same rate their CEO's pay grew. In recent years, UAW, President Sean Fain says, 21% pay hike offered by Chrysler parents Stellantis is a no-go. GM threatens to send 2,000 workers home, Ford cuts 600 jobs. Canadian auto workers brace for strike, as talks go down to wire. Ford also faces strike at Canadian plants, in one week time. Byun Hee Bong dead at 81, veteran Korean actor, also known with Netflix's Okja who was a frequent collaborator of Oscar-winning director Boon Jong-ho, passes away after pancreatic cancer battle. Roger Whittaker, English folk singer famous for Durham Town, dies aged 87. Sacramento Utility rolls out its first long-duration grid batteries, where ESS delivers 3 megawatt per hour capacity, iron flow battery systems, as part of larger 2GWH deal. Germany to surpass 50% renewable power this year, official says. Eat Kozicic. Oscar-nominated Nightmare Before Christmas VFX artist, and for many others, dies at 72. Microsoft Windows and Surface Chief Product Executive Panos Panay is leaving Microsoft. Panos Panay was behind Surface devices and Windows 11. Danish artist told to repay museum 67,000 euros funding after turning in blank canvases. In Portugal, people who earn the minimum wage may have to pay income taxes in 2024. China's Tsinghua University agrees to strengthen cooperation in academics, research, says Malaysia's PM Anwar. Tiny nanocarriers could prove the magic bullet for acne sufferers. Police aren't paid to dance with drag queens, says British MP Sula Braverman in attack on woke policing. In USA, Planned Parenthood resumes offering abortions in Wisconsin, after more than a year.